Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. A little bit later in the day today, it's just a few minutes after 12 p.m. actually. I had to think of whether it was a.m. or p.m. to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I had a busy, sort of a busy morning. We got a good dump of snow overnight, so I had to spend a little bit of time shoveling some snow. We got quite a few inches of snow overnight. Luckily, it's cold enough that the snow isn't heavy. It's nice and light and easier to shovel, but there was quite a bit of it. So, uh, of course, I overdid it. And uh, actually, it's cold enough outside that my beard and mustache were frozen and uh, actually had icicles off of my mustache and my beard. It was pretty funny. And uh, I came inside and I just had to rest. I was spent. So, took some time and just watched some YouTube videos and hung out with Maggie. Might have watched the uh, the new episode of Boba Fett again. It's probably, I think that's like my third or fourth time watching it already now, which probably tells you something about the episode. It's, uh, it's a little bit longer, but it's a really good episode. A lot happens, and uh, again, I'm not going to reveal anything about it because I don't know who's seen it and who plans on seeing it. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So I'm going to have a seat actually at the table behind me and wish a few people happy birthdays before we get going on our snack review. Hope you're all having an awesome day today. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty good day, productive at least, and then uh, productive and then restful. And uh, now I'm ready to be productive again. Um, right, so the, the review and some birthdays. Um, to be honest with you, I can't read my lettering, my writing from back here. I'm gonna have to stand back up. I wrote notes for the birthday shout outs because I didn't want to forget anybody. And these are people that I know, but I have notes written. And it's not a script, but, you know, I don't want to say something wrong or leave something out that I meant to say. This table is on its last legs. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm sitting on the table right now. Don't tell, her. Don't tell Lady Shorts. Uh, first of all, I want to wish Bonnie Kay a happy birthday. Very nice person from grad class in Abbotsford, BC. Always seemed to have a positive attitude and was always friendly to me. I think this table's gonna hold up. Happy birthday, Bonnie. Ooh, er, that's not the heater, it's just the recycle, so it should only be on for a few seconds here, maybe 30 seconds, but that's okay. Uh, happy birthday, Bonnie. <laughs> Uh, second all, of all, Sean J. I, I worked with Sean at my first job, actually, at a grocery store here in Kamloops. Had to think of my hometown's name there. Uh, Sean is, a, is fast on a mountain bike and has an awesome eye with, uh, with photography. With photography. Uh, a little bit of marbles in my mouth this morning. I'm all out of sorts because I wanted to sit down for this part and now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sean is very fast on a mountain bike and has an awesome eye for photography. And he was a good guy to work with, for sure. I didn't know him on a very close personal level, but we chatted from time to time. And, you know, friends of friends. He's got a lot of common friends in the mountain bike community and, uh, and whatnot. So happy birthday to you, Sean. Hope you have a great day today. Uh, third, Paul W., a friend that I met during my days as a roofer here in Kamloops. Um, he's offered to lend a hand and to lend tools on more than one occasion throughout the years of knowing him. I'm not sure how many years I've known him, like I guess 10, 10 15 years, somewhere in there. Um, always a fun guy to hang out with, always seemed to be in a good mood and uh, good vibes. So uh, happy birthday to you, Paul. Uh, lastly, another Paul, Paul K, and a guy I don't know personally or very well, to be honest with all of you. He is a fellow member of the Pepper community and a relatively new friend. I think we've been friends since April or something like that. Um, yeah, he's another member of the community, the Pepper community, and uh, it's his birthday today, so happy birthday to him as well. Happy birthday to all four of you. I hope you all have a great day today. Not just the people with birthdays, but I hope everyone has a birthday. I hope, well, everyone does have a birthday. I hope everyone has an awesome day today. Obviously, that's not entirely possible. We need to have bad days to appreciate the good days, but I can still wish a good day on you, right? Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, happy birthday to anyone celebrating and anyone watching this video. Have an awesome day. Now, let's get to our review. Now that I'm 
little bit into the groove of things again now. A um, little bit of jitters and marbles in my mouth this morning and, you know, the usual stuttering and Steve-isms, but that's okay. You tell me that you appreciate my human imperfections, so we let them fly. Today we're going to be reviewing another product from Old Dutch Foods, which is, yeah, a Canadian company, Calgary, New Brunswick, Heartland, New Brunswick, I should say, uh, Calgary, Alberta, Winnipeg, Man Manitoba. <laughs> Here come the marbles. <laughs> no. Um, these are their gourmet jalapeno ranch pretzel bites. I didn't know that these even existed. I'm a huge fan of pretzel bites. I won't name any other brands because this is an old Dutch review, but I do love pretzel bites, and I didn't know that these ones even existed. I just happened to be at Walmart. I think it was, I think it was the same time that I bought the, oh, what was it called? Hal Haldram Nagpur Tasty Nuts. I think it was the same time I bought those, and I saw somebody walk by and pick up a bag of these off of one of those, like, end of the aisle. Uh, you know, they're all just clipped onto the, the row, the vertical row. There was no price tag or anything. I didn't, I don't even know how much I paid for them, to, to be honest with you. But I, I saw somebody pick them up, and that's kind of what I do when I'm snack hunting. I keep an eye on if so, if people are buying, uh, if it's busy in an area, and, uh, and and an item is kind of picked clean. You know that people are enjoying that snack, so it must be good to a certain amount of people. Also, if you see someone pick something up, they obviously like it. So my attitude towards snacks is, if somebody likes it, there's got to be something about it that is an enjoyable. Um, an enjoyable point. I don't know how else to put that. An enjoyable feature. Um, it's a better word that I'm not able to think of right now. That's all right. Um, but yeah, I just like to see what people are snacking on and try it for myself. So, uh, they are naturally and artificially flavored. I actually haven't even gone over this bag at all. I haven't looked at it or anything other than right now. Old Dutch Gourmet Jalapeno Ranch pretzel pieces, make sure they're in the frame, are bursting with flavor that can't be beat. A spicy, crispy crunch balanced with creamy ranch, delivering outstanding flavor and quality that is signature to all of our products. Mm, that sounds pretty good. I do like Old Dutch snacks, for sure. OldDutchFoods.ca is their website. If you want to browse their selection, see what they got going on. Um, I, th I, I think I told you that I found these at Walmart, but you can find Old Dutch snacks all over the place in Canada. I'm not sure about the USA or other places of the world, but luckily they're easy to find here in Canada. So let's, um, let's take a quick, quick look at the ingredients list. Wheat flour, vegetable oil, sugars, a few sugars, malt, honey, corn, maltodextrin, and dextrose, uh, salt, garlic, vegetable fiber, jalapeno, onion powder, MSG, torula yeast, spices, natural and artificial flavors, you get it, dehydrated parsley, paprika extract, contains wheat, barley, milk. Those are three different things, of course. Three, three uh, different ingredients. Wheat, barley, and milk. Let's open them up. Enough chit-chat. Well, we're not done chit-chatting. We always chit-chat during and after the snacks and whatnot. It's got a jalapeno flavor, for sure. It's strong jalapeno flavor. They are not, they don't look like what I was expecting. They are quite, let's see, they're bigger pieces than I was expecting of the, of the pretzels. It looks like, like a big, oh yeah, look at that. That's a big piece of pretzel. I'm not getting a ranch aroma. I'm just getting strong jalapeno and I think onion. Garlic. Yeah, onion. Probably garlic too. Mostly onion though. Jalapeno and onion. Let's take a bite of this. So from Old Dutch. Oh, and my mouth is watering. <laughs> Gourmet jalapeno ranch pretzel pieces. Heat my shorts.
Mm-hmm. Show you what I'm up close, actually. Maybe? There it is. It's a pretty good looking pretzel for sure. pretty good. It's got a good taste to it. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have a seat. Sorry. I'm talking about my mouthful there. Eat a couple. I'll eat a couple more of them. These are good. They have a little bit of a kick to them, not much. Again? So they're a little salty, but I mean the pretzels. I'll tell you one thing, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Tell me if you get that reference. Don't Google it now. Mmm. <laughs> So I'm getting jalapeno flavor, garlic, onion, good hit of salt for sure, and yeah, that, that weedy pretzel flavor. I'm not really getting any ranch flavor whatsoever, but these are pretty good for sure. Um, Bursting with flavor might be an exaggeration, but they do have a good amount of flavor. Um, these are pretty good. Good crunch. Good coating of flavor. Good pretzel flavor. As far as the heat goes, it does move my needle. Um, I do want to say a one, barely a one, like barely. And I'm being a, maybe even a little bit generous there because I don't want to say, I don't want to say 0, 0. 0.0. Or 0 0.976, you know, something like that. I don't want to really be splitting hairs, but I'll give it a 1 out of 10 on my heat scale. If you're new to eating spicy foods, you could find this to be maybe, maybe a 3 out of 10. It's hard to say. Chili Head won't find this to be, um, be spicy. Somewhere between a 0 and a 2. <laughs> You know what? I might be actually getting very slight hint of ranch, suggestion of ranch. It's getting masked by those other flavors. The jalapeno, the salt, the pretzel, the garlic onion, they're all kind of masking that flavor. But it is just barely there. I'll have one more. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not over here yet. A little bit on the salty side. I prefer almost a tiny bit less salt and obviously a little bit more heat, but it's a jalapeno snack. For keeping in mind that it's a jalapeno snack, I think they're right on point with the heat. If you want more, you should search out a habanero pretzel snack, or you know, something like that. I don't know how, how well that would work. Maybe a green habanero. 
Um, so the questions at hand, would I recommend this? Yes. If you like jalapeno pretzels, if you like a salty snack, a little bit of garlic and onion, good pretzel crunch. If you like pretzels, yeah, I recommend this. Will we restock on it? I'd have to know the price before I answer that for sure, but I'll say probably, because I love the pretzel snacks and these are a slight variant on the jal jalapeno ones that I've had. So yeah, I think we would restock on these ones. Restock and recommend. Let's call this doggy over here for a hangout. Hey, Maggie, come here. <laughs> Maggie. Good girl. Come here, little dog. <laughs> come here. Good girl, here she comes. Here comes the little boo-boo dog. Hello. I'm surprised you didn't come over sooner. We're having snackies over here and you're sleeping on the couch. Yeah. Actually, she didn't even uh, come up to the yard with me when I was shoveling snow. I was kind of surprised. She's a lazy lady today. That's okay. Hmm? It's winter and it's cold and you're tired. Me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a good girl, Maggie. What a good dog. Hmm? She's hugging. That's what she's doing right now. She's giving me a hug. Mm. And her piggy. Giving her piggy a hug, too. Are you just the sweetest little doggy? Yeah. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Don't you piggy? Yeah, this is a piggy. Don't you piggy? Yawn first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get that piggy. You get that piggy. We're going to have a we're gonna have a wrestling match on video soon, Maggie. You and I. You better get ready, because it's on. We're going to have a funny wrestling match. It might be a quick video, but I want to get her all riled up on camera with one of her toys. And she's done. She's going to lay down. And uh, show you what she does, the noises she makes when she gets excited, and uh, what she thinks is vicious. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. So you can see it on the table again. I like these pretzels. They are good. I mean, I kept eating them, right? Um, jalapeno mostly, touch of ranch, a slight suggestion of the ranch flavor, but I like it. Oh, now she wants to go outside. So yeah, these are good. Good job on these old Dutch. Good salty jalapeno pretzel snack with a slight dash of ranch. I'm not even sure what ranch flavor is, to be honest. Peppercorn and something? I don't really know. Anyways, um... What are we doing here? I don't really know. I can't really think of anything. Well, that's okay then. We'll, we'll, we will just do our... Don't forget to click our Heat My Shorts logo in this corner. Um, two relevant playlists up here. And let's do Late for Work again in this corner. I really like that channel. I really like those two people, Jason and Kim. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts with Steve and Maggie. We will hang out again soon. I promise. Bye-bye.